what is going on folks quick video here the TiVo stream 4k remote issue I think we may have uh, found a decent fix for it um, a permanent fix um, it came to my attention from a commenter uh, who was asking about CEC now when this device first came out the CEC was terrible um, it will turn your TV on right after you turn it off. It, you know, it was just all over the place. And about a couple weeks ago, TiVo did a survey. I don't know if you guys got the survey, but I got the survey asking, you know, what issues or what, you know, what they can do to make the device better. And a couple days later, they rolled out a new update and um, it addressed most of, well, some of the issues people was having. But anyway, CEC, you guys. Um, I'm just going to walk you through how to uh, turn it on. So on your TiVo Stream 4K, what you want to do is go to Device Preferences. Preference. So from there, go down to the More section. And from there, you see we got the, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in. You got the HDMI CEC. If it's not already on, go ahead and turn that on. So you see all the switches. I just leave everything switched on. So from there, see we're using our TiVo Stream 4K remote. I got the light off because it is click creating a blur over on this side where the white text at. So from here, you want to go get your TV remote, go into the menu. Now your TV has to have the CEC option. So just go to wherever you find that. Usually it's in setup or system. All right, so in my case, we're going to go down to CEC. As you can see, mine is already on. <clears throat> so if yours is not on, turn it on, and, you know, it's going to display different types of options. I usually just leave all my options on. I go through them, and then I just test it by going to device list. <clears throat> Again, your TV is going to be different. Um, it's going to have different options, but usually it'll, it'll display a list of your CC options so you can see right here it has the TiVo Stream 4K and uh, you know just go ahead and go to the connect to just to make sure that we on there so and just like that you're all set you're all good to go now some pros and cons about this setup the pros is you have a reliable consistent source where you can turn your TV's volume uh, up and down the power on and off now um, it's only as, it's only going to be as consistent as the device right it seems that you know TiVo has fixed the, the main issues and hopefully it can stay that way but <clears throat> the cons is you got a brand new remote here that doesn't do all the features that you need it to do you know uh, I was looking forward to being able to do everything with uh, my TiVo remote. So you got your shortcut keys, you got your all types of buttons here that you can use, but you can't do that. And I was really looking forward to them updating their uh, interface when it comes to being able to set up your remote control to work for a TV. Now, um, I know I mentioned this in my previous uh, TiVo remote video, but um, as far as being able to set up uh, the TV code through the on-screen, um, through an on-screen guide, I don't think that's possible because I got to thinking maybe the, the remote control is not set up to work that way. I don't think um, they could just simply do a software update to fix that issue. So if they ever did add the feed the on-screen feature, I think, you know, we would need new remotes. They had to give everybody new remotes, you know. Because that was one of the things they mentioned in the survey. So another con about this is most TV remotes are infrared. So with the TiVo remote, you can point it anywhere. You know, you can point it anywhere. You can be under the cover or, you know, just you don't have to point it directly at the screen or at the infrared sensor. But in this case, when you're using a TV remote, <clears throat> you have to be pointed at that sensor. You know, so... Um, see right now even pointing in this direction is not catching the sensor you have to point it right there and have that direct line of sight 